everyone, this is Uncle speaking and I wanted to say good morning. Or actually goodbye, because that's the end of our trip. Jokes aside, as you can see we managed to get on the ferry on time, but barely, <laughs> just barely. The queue was really, really long, but we managed. So that's fine, that's actually fantastic. And today we will be in Britain. We will land in New Haven and from there we want to explore a bit. Actually, I won't, but never mind. Let's take a look what's happening right now. Nope, those are not white cliffs of Dover, those are white cliffs of Dieppe. <laughs> anyway, let's go back and let's summarize our trip a bit and let's try to ask Lucas what does he think. Chcesz powiedzieć o czymś na temat wyprawy? Jakieś wnioski, uwagi? Czy jest długa kolejka do wodopowodu? No jest, to tam. Ale było dobrze czy nie? Nie. Dobrze się grało w grę na wyjeździe? Więcej z tobą nie jadę. I o to chodziło. Yep, brilliant that is. But right now we are leaving the ferry and before continuing our summary, let's take a look outside. Can you see that queue? It's longer than one in France. So yeah, thank you Brexit. But hey ho, let's go back to summary. So, in total, we did 5,700 kilometers, which is almost 3,600 miles. It took us 17 days. Well, actually, we were out of home for 17 days, but we were just riding for 15 days. And that gives 230 miles a day, or 370 kilometers, if you prefer that. It doesn't seem a lot for a motorway or main roads. However, in the mountains, it's a different story. And look, CCM. I don't like how it looks like. It should be a nice bike, but it's, it's not. Anyway, summary. Let's go back. If that would be one-way trip, that 5,700 kilometers would take us down south to the border of Senegal and Gambia, or if we would go east, it would take us to Uzbekistan, or eventually to the borders of Iran and Iraq. If we would do the return trip in a straight line, it would take us to Greece and back. And from that perspective, it seems quite a lot. And it was a lot having in mind how much we paid for the fuel. It was every single time above 2 euros on every single petrol station. So that was basically nuts. Good thing though is that the prices in Spain and mostly in France, they are lower than in the UK. Especially in Spain, the price for the hotel for a two-person room was on average 40-50 euros, and that's brilliant. In France it was 50-60, so still good. Obviously we were choosing rather inexpensive places, otherwise it would be way more than that. Anyway, we don't need anything else except the roof above our heads and a place to sleep. That's about it. Also, I think that the cheaper hotels are more interesting, because there is always some sort of surprise there. <laughs> but never mind the bollocks, let's go back to the road. And right now we pass the most boring road, which is the road around London. And now we are going towards Henley-on-Thames. But watch out! <laughs> That's awesome, isn't it? Love it! And UPKA we finally passed slow and other nonsense and we are in those nice villages of what is it Buckinghamshire I believe Well actually almost border of Buckinghamshire and Oxfordshire but hey never mind that I have to say, it's kind of posh neighborhood. Rather wealthy one. How you can tell? Well, because you can spot some nice cars. Like that one, right? We wanted to stop for a coffee in Henley, but actually there was some sort of Henley festival. So, it, it was what it was, as you can see. Full of people and bloody cars. And stupid traffic which is 
pretty unusual in this place, so we left Henley and we decided to go to the rural area. And when I said rural, I didn't mean that. I rather thought about some nice villages close to kinda better roads. But hey. But you know what? I didn't expect open forest close to London. Well, and I can see no fence. Imagine that. The forest with no fence. How come? Am I still in England? Hmm. Oh yeah, fortunately there it is. The fence. I started to worry. Jokes aside, we quite accidentally found this area and I have to say it's absolutely lovely. And seriously, there is a piece of forest with no fence, which is pretty unusual in England. But I find fences because right now we think we are close to some pub possibly. That wasn't a pub, but there is still hope. Oh yes. <laughs> And that was real classic, nice and friendly pub. With mix of Irish, Scottish and one local as well. <laughs> they were all locals, however, well, with different origins. And yes, getting a pint in the pub taken its toll. Or maybe I just went to pick up some shrooms? Hmm? I don't remember. <laughs> but it was really really nice forest. That guy is not nice as you can see. But that's a nice bike so let's jump on it and let's continue. My friends, Lucas has got enough of those stupid B roads. So, yes, he directed his Autobahn machine to the Autobahn. And as we got an hour to go home, he decided just to go this way. But as you can see, that's not a motorway anymore. That's a roundabout. And no, I'm not going to the services. Well, and that man in front of me is not Lucas. Definitely. See? So what is going on here? Hmm. Okay guys, let me tell you what the situation is. Actually, I stopped in the middle of nowhere. Here is a bike. It's dirty as crap. Anyways, yeah, lovely weather. Absolutely beautiful. But actually, uh, we are heading home and Lucas he already went home because he was tired and his bike has got no ventilation so he decided just to jump on motorway and just go and I wasn't that tired and I thought I hate bloody motorway so yes I chosen that road instead and I'm on this one and I will go there <coughs> and I will go home now I'll show you a few back roads, B roads of Warwickshire and it will be nice and pleasant there. See how nice it is up there everywhere. But that's the end of the trip really and what can I say it was brilliant but yeah I've got a few miles and I will enjoy the last few miles as well. See you later. And no we didn't left each other in anger we just made the decision. Just, you know, I said, it's a lovely day, I want to spend it on a bike, not a motorway. And he said, sure, but I'm tired. So, here you go. So, which 
route would you rather take? Hmm? Yes, eventually it took me two hours more than him. But you know what? It was rather pleasant. And if that would have to take me four hours, I would still be here. Yes, my friends, this is finally the end of the trip. The whole GPX with route of the trip you've got in the description for a rather symbolic price. Or eventually you can buy me a beer. The link is also in the description. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Cheers.